Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is July 17th and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery here. If you look closely, you can see some moisture that came up across central Northern California and today we'll move across the Sierra Nevada and Nevada for the next few days as well, causing some thunderstorms. It have some lightning strikes even offshore here and across some of the state yesterday. You can see the flat fire there across Southwest Oregon, bringing some smoke down in Northern California there as well. Only 200 acres, but kicking up a bunch of smoke with that. We're gonna have some monsoon moisture, possibility for some severe wind gusts here across southern Arizona as well. But again, the big weather story here is the big ridge of high pressure here across the region, setting records here for many areas. We'll take a look at those details here coming up in a moment. This is looking at that flat fire here. You can see its proximity to Medford and here's Redding, California there. So the flat fire is what's causing that smoke. And here's looking at the HER, the high resolution rapid refresh. And I put that into motion. You can see the smoke it's kicking off. I believe this must be some kind of prescribed burn here across the Sierra Nevada. I'm sure somebody in my comments can let me know what that is. I did not see a forest fire active out there. This is looking at the infrared satellite imaging and you can see that moisture here moving across central California. And we're gonna be kicking up thunderstorms here, maybe even down across some of the desert areas here and across the Southern Arizona area, some thunderstorms across places north of Phoenix, across the higher terrain. And Nevada is gonna have a one, two, three punch here for some thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday afternoon coming up. This is looking this day in Southern Cal weather history. Check this out. Rem of a hurricane. Hurricane 3, 1954, did move up towards Baja and brought some heavy precipitation for the higher terrain here. So it can happen once in a while here. Always on the lookout for something like that. This is looking at the North Bay lightning strikes last last evening across Sonoma, Napa County there. You can see all these red dots are lightning strikes there. So hopefully it didn't kick off any fires here, but nice stuff from the National Weather Service, San Francisco. Take a look here, 129 degrees officially, 35 miles northwest of Baker, California. That puts it just into the uh, Death Valley National Park there. And you can see Peter sinks again with the lowest temperature across the nation here. But this, the, that is roaring hot here. I mean, that's among the most, uh, the highest reliably recorded temperature ever on the earth so yeah that, you're, this is no joke here folks and it'll be interesting to see what death valley can come up with in the next couple of days here as well and bakers california is here so at 35 miles northwest puts it right probably into the southern proximity of the park there now this is looking at triple digit heat tuesday wednesday uh hanford california and this is for the valley areas look at death valley just 125 124 just crazy hot out there um yeah but look at the valley 106 for Bakersfield there, 102 for Merced. Uh, 101 as you go on and through Wednesday. So the hot weather continues here. And check it out, National Weather Service, Las Vegas. You could even have some thunderstorms here. You can't even rule one out across Death Valley. So that would be a pretty interesting contrast here with some just roaring heat out there. And Phoenix is gonna be up towards record temperatures here as well again. Taking a look at that now, look at the record highs and the forecast highs for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's not just beating, that's destroying the record. 118 is the forecast high, 115 the record. So you can't have anybody tell you this is just something that's normal for Phoenix this time of year. It is not. And some of these overnight lows, 95 is the all-time highest record or low, <laughs> low temperature, the record Highest low temperature there for Phoenix. Confused myself there, but 95 degrees, that was it. That was the highest overnight low ever recorded there. So this is not usual stuff here across much of the region. Strong storms possible. Look at this, blowing dust. You can see the southern zones here with some severe gusts possible. A severe wind gust is 58 miles per hour or more, and that could uh, you know, go on through some of the southern zones, even across northeast Nevada as well. And you can see the kind of the time frame here as these develop 2 to 3 p.m. and go on in through the evening hours. This is looking at that ridge of high pressure. You got the European on the left versus the GFS on the right. These are both hot off the presses, the 12Z run. And you can see this ridge of high pressure just dominating. It's not going anywhere here, folks. And it's going to even back up a little bit more to the west there a little bit. And it's just not relenting here. So we don't have any signs for any relief coming up through the extended forecast. But, of course, there's still some thunderstorm activity that can be associated with this in the form of some monsoon moisture across Arizona and uh, up through California and, and Nevada as well. This is looking at 850 millibars, 5,000 feet. Anytime you're in anything yellow or orange or red here, you're above average temperatures here at 5,000 feet. And you can kind of see as we go through the extended, there's not much relief. There's no big break incoming here for the most part. We're well out over 100 hours here. Here we got our 150 hours plus, but nothing coming here on through the extended forecast here as far as big break in temperatures. Now taking a look at the composite reflectivity here, 
This is the NAM3 cam, a high resolution model, kicking off some thunderstorms here. Can't rule out a thunderstorm across some of the desert areas. Look at that, even possibly a strong thunderstorm here. Sierra, Nevada's and off into Nevada here and then across the southern zones of Arizona here so yeah we're going to rinse and repeat too watch what happens when we go through Tuesday again across the Sierra Nevada and Nevada look at some of these storms I mean you could get some localized flooding out there with something like this as well and again the monsoon starting to get a little bit active here across Arizona and then you can see Wednesday another round for Nevada here and Arizona coming up this is day one thunderstorm outlook you can see the severe gusts possible across northeast Nevada and southern Arizona thunderstorm all the way even out towards the desert areas as well. Six to 10 day precipitation probability outlook July 26th. Kind of normal here for Arizona, but still showing the suppressing of some precipitation here. But, you know, this is six to 10 days out because over the next three days, there's going to be some localized, you know, not bad amounts here across some of Nevada here with some of the storms moving over the area. This is eight to 14 day, maybe some hope for that monsoon to continue to remain active here. Or I shouldn't say continue to remain active, but, you know, kind of continue this little bit of an uptick what we're seeing here on through the end of July. This is six to 10 day temperature probability outlook here. You can clearly see the bullseye here across much of the region, 8 to 14 day all the way through the later portions of July as well. This is July 1st through July 16th. You can see the West been pretty well above average. California starting to erase anything, any locations that were below average here as well. And this is uh, January 1st to July 16th. So we're really going to be working on these negative temperatures here over the next few days as well. I'm trying to get probably towards average again. But you can see so far this year, the big yin and yang here the west coast versus the east coast temperatures so far and this is looking at new data here on el nino check it out the nino 3.4 region el nino southern oscillation we measure these temperatures here across the equatorial pacific there's hawaii australia south america and mexico here and you can see our long climb out of la nina here into neutral territory and now we are in a moderate el nino technically as we speak 1.1 degrees celsius above average across that region there so interesting stuff Stuff. This usually doesn't come into play too much until we get on into the winter months here and probably on in through next year is when we really feel the impacts of El Nino coming across the region. But, you know, we'll watch that and see how it goes. We have a long way, a long way to go. A lot of time to look at that. But anyway, yeah, click like and subscribe. We'll watch this again tomorrow. We'll see these thunderstorms develop across Nevada, Arizona. Maybe the deserts will get some thunderstorm activity again today. We'll watch some of these record highs fall across the region as this prolonged epic heat wave continues for much of the area here. So, yeah, hopefully the forest fire season doesn't get going anytime soon here this summer and we can remain below average across a lot of the area as well. But anyway, click like, subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.